Welcome back to another video tutorial brought to you by TheVirtualInstructor.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Blob Brush Tool in Adobe Illustrator CS4 and how you can create uh, graphic images very quickly like this one um, without having to deal with the Pen Tool. Um, the Pen Tool is great, but the Blob Brush really will save you some time. You can do this very quickly. Then I'm going to show you how to use the Live Paint Tool to add color very quickly. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to add some value uh, to your image to give it a little bit more of a three-dimensional quality with the brush tool again, the blob brush tool again. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a two-part video probably. I can't fit it all in one video. So the first part, I'm just going to show you the inking part. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up a new document, and I've already opened up that document right here. And I'm going to go to Photoshop where I did my sketch. And here's my sketch in Photoshop. Man, it is it rough. And it's okay to, that it's rough because we're going to clean it up and illustrate and make it look really sharp and graphic. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab um, my move tool or the multi-directional arrow tool. And I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to bring it down over here into Illustrator in the file that I've already created. And I'll go ahead and grab that and move it to the center. And that's fine. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, but for this demonstration, that's good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and make that layer that I just created uh, the template layer. So over here in my layers, I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to select the template button or the template radio button. And you'll see it locks it. it you can select dim images to a different percentage of that, but 50% works pretty well. So I'll click OK. Now that layer is locked. Can't do anything with it. So I'll create a new layer. And this is going to be the layer that I add the ink to. Okay, now we're going to add the ink with what I said was the uh, blob brush tool. And this is your blob brush tool right here. It's a really cool tool. It'll save you lots of time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my color, though, is black. So I'll select the black, click OK. And then I'm going to double click on the blob brush tool to bring up the options for that tool. And you can see there's a bunch of different stuff you can mess with, but uh, for this demonstration, this is what interests me the most. And this is uh, gives you the option to change the width of the line according to the pressure that you put on your pen. Now, I'm using a Wacom tablet for this. And if you're not using a Wacom tablet, you're using a mouse, it'd probably be better just to use a good old pen tool so that you can get that variation in line quality. But for this um, demonstration, I'm using the Wacom tablet, like I said. Uh, the size is the size, the maximum size that your pen tool will make. Um, the variation is the amount of variation that's going to happen. In other words, seven points. If I put a lot of pressure, the, the mark is going to be at least seven points wide, um, all the way down to, you know, one. So um, click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab my, my pen. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see the marks that I make. Slide this out of the way just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and just start somewhere. And like I said, the more pressure that I put on the pen, the thicker the line. The less pressure I put on the pen, the thinner the line. So you automatically get that line quality, and you don't have to worry too much about using the pen, or the pen tool. You don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, instead, you can just draw like you normally would draw, and it really is great. Now, I don't want to bore you with me drawing this picture. Now, um, I have one that I've already inked, but before I show you that, I want to show you what's really great here. Now, that obviously is kind of a sloppy mark, and you, it's not quite as good as the pen tool. Well, if I just flip my, my pen tool upside down, it becomes an eraser, and I can just erase that and clean up those lines just a little bit if I want. And that's what I would do throughout the drawing. I'd probably do all the inking first, and then probably hide my template layer to clean up those marks. So let me go ahead and open um, a file up that I've already done the inking for. So we'll go up here and should be under, there we go. Now let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see that. Now here I've done all of the, the black lines for the inking with the, the blob brush tool. Now in the next video I'm going to show you how to add color very quickly to this and then how to make your color a little bit more interesting with the blob brush tool. Hope you'll join me for part two.